How's it going? Welcome back to Dead State Reanimated with me, Noble. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't plan on recording today, but uh, I am because internet's down. So that's a bit of a meh day for me. Anyway. Man, we are pretty heavy. Let's, uh, let's make sure everybody's offloaded all their equipment they don't really need. So unload that. No, unload that. There we go. Make it a little easier on it, especially if we need to trade ammo real quick, you know? If we didn't have this tactical advance gear, I'd probably be choosing the SWAT gear. So let's take a look at it real quick, so. 30... Bite resistance 20, so this is actually a little bit less bite resistance than the SWAT gear. 20 to 40, 10 to 30, 20 to 30, 20 to 20, 10 to 10. And this is just a little bit heavier. But it's that 40% ballistic resistance is the reason I'm going for this instead of this one. So we can't use that staircase. I almost forgot we gotta look for gear. Every place we haven't been to yet. Can't carry it. Hmm, that's two pounds, can't do that. Alright, you know what? You got one pound of gear you can give him. There you go. You're loaded up now, Vic. Mrs. Gads, now could you carry the laundry? Yes, you can. For a little bit. He's almost maxed out. Come on, grab what you can. Get all the good stuff. Do 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 do. Who's keeping gasoline in this place? That's like asking for a fire hazard. Pretty sure I got all this stuff. We'll double check these cabinets real quick before we move on. Yeah, internet going down to being a YouTuber slash uh, Let's Player on stream. Not good. <laughs> so we called uh, Comcast and we're trying to get him to come out here and find out what happened. Because the power's still on. We didn't have any power surge or, you know, anything. We just heard the lightning hit in the distance, and now the internet's down. It's like, well, maybe a power pole or a box got hit somewhere. I don't know. Whatever the case is, though, they'll let us know and probably charge us for it, but whatever. I figure we probably didn't go over here because we've been seen by those other guys. Yep. Can't carry it all. Hmm. What is it lighting you up? Okay, there's t two more. What did I pick up that's that light? It's that. Okay. It's funny. This weighs one tenth of an ounce. This weighs <laughs> four times as much. But in actuality, this should weigh four times less than this. Whatever. I'll let somebody else get it. Grab everything that ain't bolted down. I wonder if I can actually use that, if that's just something I need to get rid of, because it's like, yeah, whatever. You're never going to find anything that dark. Or maybe it's only useful at night. Like, 
in those nighttime raids where it's like, oh, I can't see anything. We have a combat disadvantage kind of thing. It's like, no, nah, you don't have the combat disadvantage with the lights off. You got night vision goggles on. Grab everything you can. We're heading back to camp right after this. You know, let's go ahead and add that to our kit. There you go. Somebody kept a single shotgun shell in that cabinet. <laughs> it's like, did you really think it was going to be that necessary? You really think you'd only need one? Hmm. Can of spaghetti. It's the spaghetti! Uh. Oops. There we go. Now I wonder if I go down this. Will take me back outside, or I'll be in a completely different area. I should have saved it for doing that just in case. It'll be uh, six minutes looking at the recording time if I fail. Ooh. Oh dear, we're going back up right now before we get spotted. <laughs> that was not the exit we should have took. We should have took this one. There we go, outside. I was like, I thought we went downstairs. No, we didn't go downstairs. We used the door next to the stairs. Quite a big difference. We're going to ditch our loot, come back here, and kick some more butt. Technically, our health isn't that bad off. I thought we'd actually be quite mangled. I know she doesn't want to leave because she's scared, but... We'll kill some more of these bad guys and let her out. Maybe she'll come and join us. I guess technically I could save it and try to see if she'll leave. What a splendid location. Splendid! I mean, I got some inventory room, but not enough to really justify picking up the loot on the way back. What happened? You hear moaning? Nah, we're skipping it. I think if you're on foot, you have no choice but to go to those things. But if you got some kind of transportation like horses or uh, cars, it's like, yeah, whatever, I'll just bypass it. Or maybe you could bypass it on foot too, I don't know. Seem like you're always just dragged into it when you're on foot, though. Got a lot of items. Do we level up any? We got three. That's nice. That's some good stuff. We're practically a beast at this point. At least I'm making sure to put this in here. Drop it over there in the car. Wait, no, that's the car. My bad. I was putting the stuff in the wrong place. There you go. Actually, let's take that one back. We'll put that in our uh, truck, or uh, in our base. Hmm. I really don't need this in the truck. That's just extra weight that's going to keep us down. Because we already got full combat gear, and we don't need extra combat gear. Especially if it's a lower quality. Particularly against ballistic resistance. Alright, put all this junk up. And Vic. It's a lot of bullets.
Mr. Gats. Gats aren't with the Gats. And finally, actually, let's get him some Molotovs. We used up a lot of Molotovs with uh, Gats before. I'm hoping they're under this category. Incendiary grenades. Come on, where are those Molotovs? They gotta be in here. Got so many dang guns in here, I can't tell where the Molotovs even are. Oh boy. I'll go all. Maybe I can find it this way. It may be one of those items that's in between categories and didn't actually drop it in a category. It's possible. Let's give you a single hand grenade, too. Just in case things get horribly, horribly wrong. I don't know, maybe I'm out of Molotovs, who knows? So much loot to look through, though. Hey guys, I know we're low on gas. You do make some more Molotovs for Vic. I don't know, I might have to give him some of these acid vials until he can uh, acquire some more Molotovs. Because we got a lot of them. There you go. You got a variety pack of uh, utility equipment. I forgot we got to check the other guy. Or girl. It's what? Darlene, right? Yeah. We'll give that to Vic, too. Or, uh, Gats. Old nighty. Yeah, I think that's good. We might give her some noisemakers or something, too, just to help her out a little bit in a sticky situation. Maybe some tear gas. Yeah. Not all of it. There you go. Just one. The more you carry, the less you'll be able to carry back, so. Actually, we're pretty late in the day, aren't we? Let's see. Two, mm. We're not going to make it out for uh, going back to that location today. We're going to have to come back another day. So instead, we're going to go out, harvest some food, then we're going to go back and call it a day. Worms, no. Field, herbs, okay. Abandoned farm, great. Still don't know if it's going to bring up anything. Let's go to that one. We'll probably go for that maybe next. The Grove. No, we're going for the Grove after that. Hmm. Don't really have time. It's already six. <laughs> we found potatoes at the same place we found the, uh... Was it tomatoes? Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. You know... Fresh food, 28. That help us get any extra points? Nope, still three. Hey, a little extra food never hurt. Especially didn't cost a single dime. Let's see what's on the menu for today. Oh, literally nothing. I thought for certain somebody would come visit us tonight, but... Like, hey, you know that crazy thing that happened that one time? Yeah, we're going to have to deal with that right now. Actually, let's get somebody on Molotovs. You're a scientist, right? Be a chemist and make some Molotovs or something. It's 0.5 fuel. Can take her one hour to make them. Meh. I 
I picked up 0.5 fuel at the uh, hotel, so we'll call that breaking even. Put your arm with the horse. Back to the Austin outskirts. I haul silver away. I mean, as close as we are to the end game, I mean, this is pretty much exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get in a couple more fights, and then we'll try to force it to the very last days. Go around, harvest some veggies for a few hours. Kind of like how we ended earlier. All right, we're back inside. It only took us 16 minutes to get back here. Now, though I'd like to go downstairs and clear that out, I think we better go upstairs first. Oh, it's barricaded. Can we go upstairs here? Yeah, we can here. Why the hell? It okay. We came in here, and it's like, nah, we don't want you going. You go straight upstairs immediately. But you can't use this one. I guess that means upstairs they're going to have one staircase going up on this side to the next floor, and this one will be barricaded, I bet. We'll see. Yep, barricaded on this side. Barricaded downstairs, upstairs. Yeah, okay. So we get it. Oh, man, they're going to force us to go through here. Oof. All right, we're going to have to save. There's going to be a lot of fighting. Matter of fact, I'm surprised we had not gotten a fight yet just from this. Darlene, lead the way so you can pop an arrow on somebody's head if need be. Nobody yet. Matter of fact, everybody, let's uh, divvy up some loot real quick. Mr. Gats, you need the, the Molotovs in your inventory. Darlene, have at them. You don't really need noisemakers right now. Matter of fact, let's put the tear gas in there. Uh, Vic. Vic, uh, actually, you need the hand grenade. You already got a grenade. So she got the tear gas and a noisemaker. He's got his Molotovs and some acid. He's got two hand grenades. And I got stuff that just needs to be used. Medical kits and, you know, lockpick. So can't really be helped on that regard. Really hope Galdor isn't upset about the lack of stream today because I couldn't help this. Oh, goody. <laughs> These are two of the things that I need for this person. So now we got one, two, three, four grenades. Don't really need the rifle. We'll take these though. Rifle's just taking up inventory space. We got a bunch of M4s in our inventory. Ooh, police hat. That's some fancy headwear right there. Gives you absolutely no protection. Guess it's an ex-policeman that was uh, <laughs> here now with the uh, mercenary units. Well, they took it off a cop. It's possible as well. Okay, we're going to get everybody to line up because uh, I'm betting there's a fight in here. So We're going to save it real quick. And then we're going to get everybody singled out. My character really shouldn't be in the front. I want to say he's the first one to move, usually. Yes, right there. My character behind her. Well, that's a weird way to do double doors. No? Totally thought we were going to be in a fight here. Wait, we are in a fight here. Oh, that door is open. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Alright guys, waste your turn, come on in here. Darling, get out of the way. Um, man, I cannot go through that door. If I do, I'll end up blocking, so I'm going to go right here. Wait right here. Because i got to get him to the door. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> what are we going to do? Hmm. Now we're just going to beat you. Beat you until you're unconscious. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, just shoot him in the back of the head with some arrows, darling. Be a good girl and put that man, the bad man, down. Can't keep a bad man down. Uh-oh. You can't keep a bad man down. da 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 da, -da. Nope, just can't do nothing about it, so we'll just stop right here. And go for some penetration from behind. I'll take that for now. We'll probably ditch it later. Not going to take any of that. We got enough. <laughs> They're all like, oh dear. Shut that. Pull back here. Uh, we're in a bit of a pickle because uh, Gats is in the way. And my character's in the way here, so she's going to have to stay there. Switch out, move down and out. I mean, these guys are going to have to funnel into the tunnel of death here, so I mean... We're just going to keep opening and shutting that door and shooting whoever comes through. They can't fight through the door, and we can shut the door. Uh, there. Man, did you just screw up there, buddy. I'm sorry, but you are in the, the shooting range right now. Badly wounded. See, the arrows go right through that uh, uh, police armor. Okay, shut that. Take that. Now, we could use that. We don't, we don't have very many of these tactical arm guards. Next, the doctor will see you. He's like, oh dear, what have I done? Just shut the door. <laughs> Every time, just shut the door. <laughs> oh man, you screwed up big time, buddy. And you're getting attacked from behind on this one. He's like, why is the back of my head bleeding? I wonder why. So long, asshole. I'm bleeding out of holes. I wonder if she'll put him down with a shot. She did. She is not one to mess with. Huh? Oh, he was a medic, huh? Oh, wow, he was a medic. He didn't have much on that, though. He only got a few shots where he had a turn on us. Back over here. As a matter of fact, check out that trunk. You're not doing anything anyway in this fight. 
There you go. Now you're being useful. Let's not stand there. It might, he might be able to shoot us through the door since we can see him, you know? It's like, I'm sorry, nobody home. Shut the door. <laughs> so that used up four points because I, all I did was shut the door and it took four points away from me down here. So it's good to know it's going to take four points from whoever opens that door. So they're not going to have an action after they open the door up. I'm surprised they're not using this door. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. I'm just kind of surprised they're not trying to go through the other door and kind of put me in a problem. i got to shut two doors at once, you know? It's also why I got him standing here so they won't try to come through this door. I don't know if the other guy had a mask on. I just wonder if I could toss this out here real quick. Nah. Fully loaded, nothing to do, so I'm not going to burn ourselves. Now, this guy uh, didn't decide to step through the doorway. Yep, not enough moves. Hmm. Can't do anything from that position right now. Looks like he's got night vision on, though. We can at least gas his ass. Just in case. Is there anywhere else you can aim? I mean, yeah, you got us, but, you know, you didn't get us, get us, so that's a good thing. I can't see, I'm dizzy, and I'm getting shot by Subgun. It's a bad day, he says. It's a bad day with you around. Door is blocked. Oh, because he's in the way. Well, he's badly wounded, so let's see if we can't step forward and... <laughs> it's just battle of the uh, fire axe stuff. The difference is, we're more prepared for the situation than you are. Take that. Don't really need that. I mean, we'll take it anyway. And some stiff. Can I take that too? I'll take that too. Alright, that's good. Shut the door. You'll just have to stay there for a minute. That's not enough, so we'll reload and just move out of your way, Miss Darlene. That was a bad hit. I won't lie. It's another really bad hit. Get you on this side. The hell are you going? Panicked. Panicked. We don't really need him. I mean, I'm a medic and all that. We'll have him healed up in no time. He's got to get his mind back in the game. How did you get shot through the door? Now that's just cheating. Well, he's out of shotgun shells. He switched to that.
Apparently he's bandaging himself. I didn't know he could do that. Since my character's the medic. Alright, put some bandages on some folks. Come on in, buddy. <laughs> Our friend here is ready to see you. Well, sort of. You know what? I think somebody wants to, uh... Wants an apology for getting shot with a shotgun. I think the apology was accepted. What do you think? He's only knocked down. He's only slightly wounded. So we're going to have to put him out of his misery. Old arrow to the chest style. Almost dead. Now he's down. One more in the grave. Uh, reload. Oh no, don't tell me you're out of shotgun shells. Wait, why do you have... Oh, he must have switched this himself because he was panicked. That's what it was. I was like, why did he heal himself? And <laughs> how did he heal himself? Now nah, that makes sense. Switch the items in his inventory out for what he needed. Ooh, it's another good gear. Ooh, both of these are good. Matter of fact, we might need these for our own people. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Alright, Vic, where are you at? I'll show you what a real medic can do. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, tighten it down a little tighter. There you go. Healthy again. Oh. I think my internet just came back up. How about that? Ah. I got, I got pulled off the screen. I'm like, wait, why did I get pulled off screen? Now I went back to my desktop and I thought the game crashed for a second. It didn't crash. Apparently my internet came back. Which means we might still be able to do live stream today. Woo! It's Friday and I'm supposed to be co-hosting a stream with Galdor. So make sure to stop by mine and or Galdor's streams if you get a chance. Um, hopefully there will be a link in the description if I remember to. Anyway, uh, that's Twitch streams, not YouTube streams. Take care, be safe there, buddy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.